While watching this video, you'll get acquainted with the Smile Design user interface and the tools available. Start by opening your TRIO software and create a new patient and a new case. Choose Send to a Lab and specify a delivery date. Then, when in the order form, press the Smile Design tab in the Indications list and press Next to go to the step where you'll import photos. Now, import a portrait photo of the patient with a visible smile by pressing the Central Image Frame. If the patient does not show gum when smiling, import a retracted photo by pressing the Left Image Frame or by dragging and dropping the image. These pictures can be switched if needed. You may add additional photos, such as a profile image, by importing them into Supplemental Photos. These will be shared with your collaborators when sending the case. Use the View and Edit button to enlarge, add, or remove supplemental photos. When the photos are uploaded, press Next. In this step, you will align the photo by adjusting the placement of three sets of reference points. Make sure the points are placed on the pupils, nasal wings, and commissures. You can do that in any order, while using the magnifying tool to help with precise placement. The pupil and commissure points are used to find the horizontal balance between the points, while the nasal wings help set the midline properly to dictate the canine position. When the photo is balanced, adjust the placement of the blue inner lip line, if needed. This can be done by dragging the control points, pressing the points on the picture, or by drawing a line on the picture. When ready, press Next. Alignment should be done by placing two sets of corresponding points on the pictures. The magnifying tool is also available here to assist with placement. Once done, you'll notice the two images are overlaid. Move the points to make any needed adjustments. The two lower subwindows can be enlarged if needed. And the clear option will allow you to restart the alignment. Press next to start designing your patient's new smile. When entering the Smile Design step, you'll see the patient's photo with a 2D outline of the teeth placed on top. The placement of these smile frame outlines can be adjusted with the Transform tool, using the control points available when pressing the Smile Frame. First, the cross symbol can be used to move the smile frame to a different position on the photo. Then, the four arrows located above, below, and to either side of the smile frame can be used to change the length and width of the teeth in the outline. When doing so, you'll notice a change in the height to width ratio, shown as a percentage below each tooth. You can also change the length and width of any individual tooth by selecting it. When a tooth is selected, you can rotate it using the red arrow that appears below the selected tooth. Lastly, use the gingival and smile curves control points to adjust the perspective of the teeth outlines in relation to the commissures. Likewise, you can scroll through and preview an extensive selection of smile outlines in the Smile Library. You can modify these as well using the available tools. You can also use the Symmetric Design and Link Design options to design the shape of any tooth in relation to the other teeth, both of which are activated by default. Symmetric Design allows you to work on the chosen tooth and the contralateral tooth at the same time. Link Design allows you to adjust the teeth and its neighbors at the same time. For your selected smile frame, you can use the Freeform tool to change each tooth's shape. Hover over the selected tooth, indicated by the green colored border, to see a prediction of the new shape. You can also change the shape of each tooth by freely drawing its outlines. 
you can remove any tooth from the smile frame if you don't wish to provide treatment for it. To do so, press on the tooth you want to remove. When it is highlighted, you can remove that tooth using the Delete Tooth button or just Delete on your keyboard. With the aid of the Mirror Tooth tool, you can copy the design from one tooth to the contralateral one. The Design Notes tool enables you to do some documentation directly on the photo and use that when communicating. You can input a measurement of the patient's existing teeth, which in turn can be used as a reference and as input for making the mock-up model. Additionally, you can add custom measurements to document the dimensional changes involved in achieving the design smile. Lastly, you can also annotate and add written comments anywhere on the patient's photo. When doing a smile design, there are several useful sliders that will allow you to switch between smile and retracted photos, if both are available, turn simulated teeth texture on and off, hide the smile frame, turn reference measurements on and off, turn custom measurements and annotation on and off. In the next step, you can use the simulation tool where you can change the texture library on the teeth. Using the sliders, you can also adjust the color of the simulated teeth using either shade and brightness or hue, value and chroma. This can be done for all of the teeth involved or for just some of them. Use auto color if you want to restore to default. Highlights and shadow from lip can also be adjusted for an even more realistic simulation. The final smile design can also be improved using the photo edit tool and the three available copy tools. These tools allow for gingiva adjustments, hiding exposed original teeth, touching up the photo, and more. The size of each tool can be changed using the sliders or by holding shift and mouse scroll. The photo edit tool should be positioned so that the yellow circle surrounds a region of the photo you want to drag and stretch. The copy tools, whether static, dynamic or symmetric, work by double pressing anywhere on the photo to specify the location of a source area shown in blue. Now, after you press and drag the cursor over the destination area, the pixels placed inside this blue boundary will be copied over to the destination circle shown in green. When the smile design is ready, press Next to find yourself in the Presentation step, where the slider allows you to show the patient their current dentition, transforming into a beautiful new smile. Enable Mirror to show the patient how their new smile will look to them when looking in a mirror. At that step, you can use the Export Photos button that allows you to choose the location and export the photos. In the Send step, it's possible to send the smile design to the patient. Press the Send to Patient button, and the pop-up will appear, where you will need to fill in an email address connected with the patient's My3Shape account. You can add a four-digit PIN code if you desire, then press Save. Press the Send button to send to the chosen lab and to the patient. Now you are familiar with the tools available in 3Shape Smile Design. Thank you for watching. <laughs>